Ooh. Wow, Belladonna Cove looks so beautiful in high definition. Look at those trees. There's Bella. Does she look better now? I'd say so. She's looking pretty good. Looking good, Bella. Grizabella has really like, she's coming to her own as an elder, Grizabelder. All right, here we are back at the Astro Legacy house. Now that Midnight is a teenager, it's time to start thinking about college. How did the Sims know? Okay, awesome. Okay, first things first. Let's get this party started. Midnight's way ahead of me. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to our Sims 2 Astro Legacy. Hold on, let me get a better angle here. Yeah, here we go. Welcome back to our Sims 2 Astro Legacy Challenge. I'm Han. Here's Midnight. Tearing it up on the dance floor. Something this family loves to do. Today on this this fine episode of our Sim Mondays, um, I think today we are going to be trying to get Midnight and Seth into college. I just assessed everyone's lifespan, and I think that this episode we can also go ahead and see Spencer. Spencer here, old pa, dear old dad, um, into old age as well. So I think what we'll do first is uh, let's get Spencer there. He has only five days left till he becomes an elder. And then Seth, who was our eldest son, who was asleep in his parents' bedroom, as he loves to do, his favorite hobby, um, he has just nine days. He still has nine days left until he becomes a teen. Essentially in The Sims 2, when you're in your teen lifespan, as long as you apply to college before the end of the teenage lifespan, you will be able to go to college. We just can't age him up into adulthood uh, before going to college. So he has nine days essentially to go to college is what I'm trying to say. And then midnight has 14 days. So my plan is let's grow up dad. Let's get his golden anniversary lifetime want achieved, which I think would be throwing an anniversary party with Grizabella once they're both in old age. Then once we've got that achieved, let's send the boys off to college. We got Seth now bathing now that I've woken him up and gotten him out of his parents' uh, parents' bed. He wants to maximize his creativity points. Holy shit. Did I already comment on how Seth has nine creativity points? Holy shit. A plus student, nine creativity points. That's insane. Meanwhile, last episode, I remember in Growing Up Midnight, uh, he had a little bit of a troubled childhood. He was really struggling to keep his mood and grades up to grow up properly. Oh my God, look, he's standing like a ballerina. Um, It, it, it. Created a compelling backstory for me, for him, though. It made him very sympathetic to me. So I'm still struggling to choose who I would like to pick for the heir to the family. So I think I'm going to make that choice when we're further along in college. But for now, I think that let's get the boys prepared to go to college. So now that we know that Seth is freaking like one away, I know he'll get this. Um, he'll get a scholarship for those creativity points. Let's get him working on that 10th creativity skill point. How, how close are they? They're not they're not even friends. Oh man, actually Midnight has a pretty low score with Seth. Seth is excited to interact with his brother. For some reason, Seth has a higher score with Midnight than Midnight has with Seth. That's kind of sad. <laughs> I know last episode, we also got Seth uh, going steady with his GF, Christy Oates. Oh my God, I love how Midnight keeps doing these ballet poses while they he just stands there. It's his idol animation, his ballet poses. That's so cute. But yeah, Christy is a Taurus, which makes her a suitable, possible uh partner for Seth if we were to pick him for the air. So that does kind of make picking Seth a little easier. But, you know, on this channel, we love a challenge. Midnight's a little bit of a train wreck and he doesn't have a partner yet. That might be a fun challenge. Ah! But like I said, we'll, we'll really figure that out in our college years. Let's zoom on ahead and work our way towards retire or, uh, retirement age for dear old dad Spencer. Let's have mac and cheese for dinner tonight. Feels like a mac and cheese kind of night. Oh my god, who is in the bed now? Midnight! What the hell is wrong with y'all's own beds? I am about to lock everyone out of Grizabella and um, Spencer's room. I can't take it anymore. I can't take these people thieving the bed. I love his little robe there. Look at the little robe. That's so funny. Um, yeah, what the fuck? Are you guys like, are you unhappy with your child bed? Is that what's wrong? I, oh yeah, you know what? Every, we didn't get a chance to get Midnight's room like nice and teenagerified. Let's Let's do that real quick. So we've learned about... So far, Midnight's a little bit of a drama queen, which I think fits his Virgo astrology archetype. 
he has creativity and he likes physical too. I was almost thinking of putting one of the ba ballet ballet bars uh, up in his room uh, because he seems to like to use the ballet bar. Just trying to make them choose their own beds more often. I, and I'm assuming they don't choose their own beds because they're not the most comfortable bed in the house, which like fair, but also you're not the you're not the head of the house yet. The the heiress, the m matriarch. God, she looks gaunt. The matriarch of the family gets to sleep in the comfy bed. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Ravi's always here. Ravi wishes he was the Jason of this generation, but he's just not. He, he can't. Amber beats the hell out of him. <laughs> Who do you like more, Ravi or Amber? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Are there any freaks out there that are like, I like Ravi because he has that bulge that we saw in HD last episode. <laughs> Every time we see Spencer, he's like just eating or sleeping. Bless this king. Like he's just, he's tired. <laughs> he's overworked. He, get, he took care of the kids though. He single-handedly like, he taught those kids things. While Grizabella was slaving away at the ballet bar. Why is she awake? Go back to sleep. We were just talking about how you deserve the most comfortable bed in the house. Yeah, Ravi, just go home when you feel like it, I guess. Yeah, so Midnight, he's extremely neat. He's kind of uptight, really active, classic Virgo, uh, but he's pretty playful too. Um, mostly he's a little more outgoing than Seth is. Um, Seth is really shy. He's extremely goofy and playful. He's a little nicer than Midnight, but he's a little slobbier and lazier as well. See, like I look away, Midnight, did he finish his homework? I guess he must have, right? And he's just back on the ballet bar autonomously. I'm surprised because we found out last episode that he wants to become a space pirate, which I think is really funny. Um, but he also just as a hobby likes to do ballet, which I think is really cute as well. So good for him. That's so cute. <laughs> I guess uh, both of the boys are a strong case study in like just having a skilling item around. Like it seems like Seth just kind of autonomously played his drums all the time because I put that in his room and I guess that's what's gotten him so close to maxing the creative skill. And as a education minister like goal, I'm really curious to see what major will benefit him in that career. Like, I, I don't know what he's going to have to pick. It'll probably be something academic sounding. He got the SimCity Scholars Grant and the Quigley Visual Arts Stipend. Oh, and the Sang Footwork Award? What? What is the footwork award? Oh good, that, that fulfilled one of Grizabella's wants. I think she wanted them to have. Yeah, to get scholarships and stuff. Let's see, let's get Seth off of the computer and let's get Midnight down here and see if he can get any scholarships too, if he's qualified. <laughs> These two are so in love. Oh my God, I'm glad, I'm happy for them because Lord knows we all saw the last generation's parents like really fell out of love immediately after getting married. Oh, cool. He got the Sang Footwork Award as well. Is that like physical? I don't know what that is. Hey, Amber's here, everybody. Give it up for Amber. She's here to clean the house, even though I just told Spencer to clean up all the dishes. Where were you, Amber? Where were you when I just told Spencer to clean up all these stinky dishes? 10 o'clock? Oh, God, sorry you have to see Grizabella in her underwear right now. Oh, I love the cats over here just just clawing away at his little cat tower. Seth is watching uh, his favorite movie, Werewolf. Up, oh, it just ended, actually. Oh, you should call over Christy, Seth. Or you should call and talk to Christy, at least. Midnight needs a friend or something. Does he? Ha he doesn't have any friends from school. He knows Brooke. Brooke Hunick? Does he have someone he could talk to maybe on, on the chat? Chat with, uh... Vassal? No. Oh! He just scooted down the stairs like a cutie. Oh, he's gonna hang out with the cat. That's cute. That's a good way for you to get your social skill up. Or your not your social skill, but. Oh shit. Oh my god, Boo, are you okay? Did you see Boo just threw up everywhere? Oh. Oh my god. Spencer just comes over here and kisses his wife's hand like a sweetheart. He keeps rolling the wand to have a baby though. It's like it's too late, Spencer. <laughs> Okay, what is Seth doing? He's on his drums. Did he do his homework? I think he did. God, I need to pay more attention if they finish their homework or not. Well, hopefully he's working on that, getting that 10th creativity point, which is so cool. That got his social points. Okay, so we also know now that Midnight would prefer to, oh God, did they just get in an argument? 
Oh my god, midnight. Get out of their bed. I'm about to lock that door, I swear to god. Why are you, oh my god, why are you even so sleepy? Why is everyone so sleepy all the time in this house? What's wrong with this house? Is there a carbon monoxide leak in here? Oh my god. Go to work. Go to work, Grizabella. How long have you been holding hands? I don't know what to do with Spencer while Grizabella's gone. Spencer has been like the epitome of what did you do while I was gone? Waited for you to get back. Like this sweet, sweet man. Head empty. All his thoughts are how to breathe and Grizabella. Do you see how he's blinking? It's like he's blinking his bottom lid. Oh my God. It's, or it's like he's got a second set of eyelids. Spencer, you're hilarious. How do we feel about Spencer? Give Spencer a rating one, one to 10 in the comments below. I want to know what we thought about Spencer. We should get Midnight like his own hobby item. He has the bar, but like, does he want something creative? Maybe we can have Midnight paint. Try painting Midnight. It's a creative household, that is for sure. Spencer's playing piano downstairs? Yeah, everyone's just like, I want to do creativity today. It's a creative Saturday here at the Astro Legacy house. While mom is away, the boys will play their piano, their drums, and their paints. Today for dinner, we'll have hamburgers. Just kidding, we need to order groceries again. It's everyone's favorite, favorite part of the episode when I need to order groceries. Uh, stop petting the cat and come get the groceries, please. Good God. Thank you. Oh yeah, Seth was here to grab him because he's starving to death. He's the one who needs these groceries. Okay, Spencer, please serve some hamburgers, please. Please, Spencer. Robbie's back. He's here again. That scallywag. That bulging scallywag, Robbie. I'm kind of glad we didn't marry Robbie. He seems kind of like a weirdo. Okay, Seth is eating. Midnight, will you fucking wake up for two seconds? We should have named Midnight's... You know what? Let's give... <laughs> Mid we should have called Midnight Sleeping Beauty. He is constantly asleep. Just like his mom. She, she, Grizabella just came home, went straight to bed. Well, she's not, she's not hungry like everyone else is. She wants her, them to get more scholarships. Grizabella barely got one scholarship as a kid. She should be so lucky that her son's got like four amongst both of them. This is a little sad. Clearly someone has a favorite. Okay, God, these ki these guys are like spending 30 years eating these hamburgers. Rafi, do you want to like have dinner? Like he comes, we have dinner out, like he can grab, he's just laughing at my cat. It's cool. It's fine, sure. You're welcome here, I guess. Don't speak to any of us, God forbid. But please, walk in on my wife pooping again. I would love that. Please. Robbie, please. <laughs> there he goes. He's gonna go eat this hamburger. Well, if no one's gonna eat this, I guess I'll have to eat it. He pulls you in, like a train wreck. Like, you can't look away. No... You are not coming downstairs. Oh, it's because you have your stereo turned on up here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at this. She's working on her novel while Spencer is working on, you know, writing some sick beats with the synthesizer. Very like artistic, creative family absorbed in their own little hobbies. It's, it's so fun and cute. Oh my God. Look at Seth making up his bed. And oh my God, Midnight's at the ballet bar again. I just love to observe them and see what they do like on their own in their spare time. Very creative. What is wrong, Spencer? Oh, he wants to browse cuisine on the web. Sorry, sorry, Spencer. Stop wanting to browse the web for cuisine. There's, oh, we need to get more computers in this house, I guess. <laughs> Seth always comes down for din like for breakfast or whatever the meal is kind of autonomously. Midnight is usually more absorbed in his task and I have to like tell him to come down and eat. Same with Grizabella. Yeah, so I'd probably say that like Seth seems to take a little more after his dad and Midnight takes a little more after his mom. However, Seth has skilled a little harder and done a little better at school, whereas Midnight has struggled a little more. And that seems more indicative of their opposite fam uh, parents or who they take after. I think I need to give Midnight a bit of a makeover maybe. Well, I like kind of how Midnight grew up though. Well, I don't know if we ever gave Midnight a makeover, so maybe we should take some time to do that. Nope, Amber's here. Give it up for Amber, everybody. She's gonna take away your food while you're still eating it. She's like, I heard your criticisms yesterday. <laughs> Not taking away the plates? Heard. 
I'll take away your plates. You fuckers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amber. You're doing a great job, Amber. Give it up for Amber, everybody. <laughs> use acne cream. I didn't know that was an option. How about you use some fucking acne cream? But yeah, I wanted to change his hair a little bit. Like, I liked his beanie in homage to Jughead, but it makes his hair way too similar to Midnight's. Oh my god, yeah. What if we give Seth a pompadour? Uh, you know what? I kind of like that. Yeah, now you can tell Seth apart from Midnight because he's got the pompadour and the pimple. The two Ps. Midnight is pretty cute. His eyes still look like they are um, extruded. They look like they're like extruded in a kind of a weird way. But I'm curious to see how he'll age up into his face. He looks he looks OK. He's pretty cute. Oh, <gasps> look at little teen Midnight. Am I more than you for yet? Wow, 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 wow. Like Midnight could be a little bit of a trendsetter here. Oh my god, yes. We're going with that. We've now decided Midnight is an emo kid. I think deep down Midnight just wishes that he could um, live up to his older brother. That's why he was struggling more. And he's he's crushed under the pressure of trying to outperform his perfect older brother. <laughs> Seth. Who's a powerhouse? What are you trying to do now? He's still trying to browse the web for, web for cuisine while... Uh, Grizabella is trying to write her novel. Watch Mime Cat. I heard that's a good one. I wish I knew. We don't have the added like bonus of um, knowing what they're going to need for their future careers because like Grizabella wanted to do the career and it just so happened that her mom had chosen. Oh my God, is the novel finished? Grizza novel, novella, Grizza novella. What kind of book do you think Grizz Grizabella wrote? I kind of feel like she would write a nonfiction book for some reason, like about a subject, but maybe she wrote like a, um, a dark fantasy, a dark romantic fantasy novel. I could see her doing that. Looks like Grizabella is done writing the novel. Oh my God, that's so cool. Good for you, Grizabella. Look at her just churning out a novel like it's nothing. That's the thing about Grizabella as the matriarch of the family. And I think why Midnight is feeling so much pressure to perform uh, and why Seth as well is such a high achiever. It's because this is a high achieving family. It's the Capricorn generation. Congratulations, Grizabella's novel is selling great. Wow. Oh my God, I'm so proud of her. Do you want to make a friend, Midnight? Come outside and greet Heath Butler. Oh, look, Seth's doing the cute belly moves too. He's like, who, who's cuter? Who do you think is cuter? I can do that shit too. I can also do this little shuffling. I'm gonna go play the piano now. Yeah. They are like both really just trying to compete for your affections, audience. Let me know in the comments below if you are Team Seth or Team Midnight. Obviously, as a recovering uh, emo child of the early 2000s, it's hard for me not to lean Team Midnight when he's got a look like this. But, uh, oh my god. Giving a nookie to his new friend Heath. <laughs> he did not like that. Oh my god, Midnight's not getting along with this guy. What's his sign? Oh, he's a Cancer! That's cute. We're talking about talking shit about Arthob. Oh, Seth is really close to maxing his creativity skill. He did it! Wow. Wow. Oh my god, y'all. Seth is out here, just maxed his creativity point in teenagerhood. He's a prodigy. Damn. <laughs> Cat's causing some chaos out here. He's gonna take that spaghetti just right away from Seth. <laughs> yeah, I think it's time to go to sleep so that y'all can wake up in time for, for school tomorrow. I probably need to tell these people like goodbye. I think that's why they're always like, what the fuck you asked me to sleep over? It's like the equivalent of like, if you had someone come over to your house with you like after work or school, and then you never really clearly said like, all right, I'm gonna head to bed or anything like that. You're just kind of like, I'll be right back. Like, <laughs> and then they just leave you waiting like in their living room until the next day. That's why all these Sims are always like, you, what the fuck? He wants to go fishing for some reason. That's kind of cute. Can you fish over, over here? Oh my God, how cute. Yeah, come out here and fish. Your, your, your dad wanted to fish too. It's 6 a.m. Seems like a good time to go fish. There we go. Okay, he got it, he got it. Minute, or uh, Spencer, you can do it too. River Falls a minute. He already has a fish. That's interesting. <laughs> so we've made, we've remade the, the moat around Cemetery Island. I've kind of fixed it to where you can now fish in it because we've got two guys wanting to fish for some reason. 
but let's get you back um, inside and get you ready for, for school midnight. In fact, I should probably like, I think I want to see if I can get a bridge going now that we got the the ghosts safely away. The terrain tools of The Sims 2 are fucking crazy. Y'all seeing this? So there we go. That's exactly what I wanted. See? How cute is that? What are y'all doing? Playing rock, paper, scissors? Seth is really bad at rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> yeah, look how cute he looks in his little private school uniform too. Little fancy boys. God damn it, Grizabella, what are we paying Amber for? Amber comes in here way too late. Do we make enough money yet to have like a butler? Wouldn't that be funny? I We need to like befriend Amber and then move her in. <laughs> I guess as they're getting to a point where they are retiring, Amber might not be useful anymore. Oh, guys, it might be time to cancel Amber. Thinking about it, I, we, we all love Amber. We give it up for Amber every day, but I'm just feeling like maybe we could save... Just because we've got... We got two people... We got, like, like tons of people who are capable of helping clean up the house now. Spencer out here fishing. Unlocking a new... A new obsession with fishing. It's hard to recognize Seth behind all the makeup and costuming, but Seth shines as the star of his school play, Our Sim Town. The, <laughs> Our Sim Town, oh my god. The most boring play I've ever seen in my life. The experience of performing to sold out audiences turns Seth into a regular little thespian and earns him one charisma point. Oh my god, Seth is, ah! Oh yay, Midnight's doing extremely well in school. He's really turned it around. I'm so proud of him. Yay, oh, he was feeling so bad about that. Okay, so we know now. Seth is a thespian. Oh my gosh. I, it's like you would think, well, Hannah, you were a previous thespian yourself. Doesn't that make you love him more? And it's like, does it? Oh, that must be her novel. Oh, hey, Seth brought home a new friend from school. Did Midnight bring this friend home too? Autumn? Autumn? Is he friends with Autumn? He is friends with Autumn. Who did Seth bring home? Where is she? Oh, is that her? Is she wearing a weird little suit? Autumn and Lisa? That's funny. Autumn seems cute though. Oh, let's ask Autumn what her... Well, she's already not really having a great time with him, I guess. To serve... Oh, a berry pie! Oh my god. Spencer's getting pretty good at... Ooh, make stuffed rainbow trout for the family! Spencer's getting good at cooking. I think that we're seeing a second era of Spencer as he goes into old age. I think he's gonna get really into cooking and fishing. Maybe even gardening. Um, which could actually really help out my idea of Grizabella opening up her like restaurant speakeasy at the graveyard. I like this Autumn. I want to know what Autumn's sign is. Did he ever be- he did become friends with Heath. I'm glad. Ooh, Autumn is a Gemini! Oh, that's fun. We don't see Geminis very often. Talking about his grades going down? That seems like not a great thing to talk about. Oh, she's like, I can relate. Oh, now they're friends! <laughs> that seems sweet. I don't know where Lisa wins. Elisa's like eating alone. Vassal's no longer a friend. Neither is Taylor. How sad. No one cares though. Whoa, he made sparkly rainbow trout. Hold on. Do you see this? That's gorgeous. Oh my god, Spencer's kicking ass over here. The whole family is kicking ass. I can't get over it. If we could get Midnight a girlfriend as well, uh, he'll be on even ground with uh, Seth. This episode, he would have caught up to Seth. He would have gotten his grades up. The only thing he'd be behind Seth is having maximum creativity. <gasps> Ooh, Autumn thinks he's hot. Oh my god. Whoever Lisa is, she's just like dancing alone over here. Is anyone hungry? Don't let this fish go to waste. I like Autumn. What do you guys think about Autumn for Midnight? I feel like they're a good, a good match. They look really cute together. I think they would make really pretty kids. And who knows? She could go to college with them too if they fall in love. Oh, he, oh they have a crush on each other. That's so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, two days before Spencer's birthday. So tomorrow, oops. Tomorrow, oops, 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 oops. Sorry, sorry, Otto. Oops. Did the fish just go bad? No, something just smelly? Oh, is it him? No, Lisa's smelly. Okay, Lisa is smelly. Bye, Lisa. Yeah, we were all like, ooh, Lisa smells. And then she's like, I better leave. <laughs> yeah, I can't get over how this, how, look at how beautiful that fish is. It's like stuffed with like mushrooms and fucking spinach and stuff. Was there any leftovers? I don't think so. Spencer, put these leftovers away. He's so excited that I got him that bass. He's playing that bass like a happy little clam. A, a happy little cl a bass playing clam. Okay, yay. Yay for midnight. We may have gotten him a GF this, this episode. Can we get him his first kiss today? I don't know though. I'm. Oops, we'll try it, I guess. 
<gasps> it's working, you guys! Oh, how exciting, one episode after the other. We got our boys out their first kisses. That's so sweet. <laughs> They're so much sooner than their mom, too. Remember how Grizabella didn't get her first kiss until college? And it was Vassal, and it was fucked up? <laughs> this is so much cuter. They both, like, found girlfriends at school and kissed them before they even got to college. We might be able to take them to college with them, too. How sweet. Yeah, let's go, st go steady. Oh, God. After you shit, I guess. Oh, my God. Come on. Shit faster. Holy crap. Come on. You're going to lose her, man. Boys, take note. Boys, take note. Oh, my God. Shitting. When shitting gets in the way, um, propose to go steady before you go to bed midnight. My goodness gracious. Oh, my God. I hate two story houses. Oh, my God. Come on. What do you think? What do you say? You want to go steady with me, girl? Bird? Okay, they're going steady. Say goodbye now. How sweet. How sweet for our boys. Oh my god, Seth, get out. Get out of his bed. Go to your own bed. It It's like Seth, Seth doesn't understand how to turn off his own stereo. He's like, I can't sleep in these conditions. And it's like, you just turn off the stereo that you turned on, buddy. Tomorrow, I think we are going to grow up Spencer. And then this episode will be done. Yeah, so I think the plan will be when we send the boys to college, I'll just go ahead and grow up their girlfriends as well. Send them to college so that they become young adults as well. And then I'll play them as a four-person household and have just the most hellish time in the world, I think. Um, we'll see how it goes. Juggling four people in college. Oh, cool. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's This time, let's do like a, histo like a mystery, a suspense mystery novel. Rats for sure. Um, I definitely think that there is... Um, perhaps crime involved um, th thumbprint question mark and walking even oh my god i think spencer is out of shape i think spencer yep has taken a turn into a little out of shape over here which is kind of hilarious seth is dancing yeah we just got school oh shit did anyone do any of their homework that's that's the question oh we've got an hour amazing oh they might just get it done Okay, they did it just in time. Wow. Wow. Good job, boys. I am so proud of you guys. Oh my god. I thought that Seth would be the more easy one to pick because of his high skill points and his girlfriend. But now that Midnight has equally also brought up his grades, got his skills kind of up, and also grabbed himself a girlfriend, I I feel like he's really raised the bar. Grisabella is just slaving away at her novel still. Oh shit, two things at once. When when Midnight first began taking violin lessons, he sounded like a marmoset with a bad cold, but something happened, and recently Midnight's been at the top of his game. So much so that he's been offered the position of concertmaster in the school orchestra. Midnight earns one creativity skill point. Okay. On the set of Fluffy the Rodent Chaser, Ash observes two men delivering flowers to the trailer of Felicitas, Felicitas Purr, the star of the show. Before they leave the flowers, they sprinkle a substance that can only be catnip on the plant. As is publicly known, Felicitas has a low tolerance for the herb and has previously had to cancel several movies due to exhaustion resulting from catnip frenzy. If Felicitas gets those flowers, she will surely eat the catnip and be unable to perform. Ash is the understudy. Should he warn Felicitas or look the other way in hopes of getting the part? I think Ash is, is like noble. He's good at heart, so I think he should warn the star. When Felicitas opens the door and sees the flowers, Ash jumps into action, knocking over the flowers and trampling them. Little does Ash know that the actress uses the catnip to relax before her most dramatic romantic scenes. Furious, the star refuses to work with Ash any further and security refuse removes him from the set. Ash is fired. Damn. Damn, Ash. I'm so sorry. Damn, buddy. Damn. I, I, just, you try to be a good cat in this town. Oh, he was just demoted. Okay, that's not as bad. You know, figures. The nice guy always finishes last. Hey, hey, Ash. Huh? Oh, hey, what's up, Midnight? He looks happy. He's doing good. I think both, yeah, Midnight and Seth both A plus in school. It's crazy. Midnight, that's not your room. Okay, Spencer will grow up in just one day. That means it's time. Blow out your candles, Spencer. We're not going to throw a birthday party for it because I think we will throw the golden anniversary party soon after he gets elder. I just don't have enough time to throw an entire party this episode. We've done a lot today. Got a lot of scholarships, got the boys ready for college. I think we could probably send the boys off to college right after their golden anniversary party, but I guess that'll be next episode. But a lot happened. This was sort of mi Midnight's redemption arc, I feel like. And the elderfication of Spencer. Wake up, Grizabella. Come see your husband grow. It's his time. 
What do you wish for, Spencer? Here he goes. There he is, old man Spencer. Beautiful. Well, Spencer's an old man. I actually think age is suiting him. I think he looks okay. Um, we've got our boys kind of fixed up, ready to go for college. I think we'll be figuring that out next. Um, Spencer will be, I think needs to just throw an anniversary party is going to be the golden anniversary. But I'll double check in between episodes what exactly we need. Oh my god, they're both like scared. <laughs> well, I think that is where we will leave you today on this episode of the Astro Legacy Challenge. Spencer grew into old age. Midnight had a little bit of a redemption arc and Seth continued to slay Grizabella as well. Um, if you guys liked this episode, be sure to give it a like. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We have new Astro Legacy Challenge episodes every Monday on Simondays. And we've got... <laughs> New Kingdom Hearts episodes every Wednesday on Kingdom Hearts Wednesdays here on the channel. We just finished Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, and we are moving on to the next game in story order, which is going to be 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 Fragmentary Passage. Um, but yeah, uh, next episode, we will probably send the boys off to college alongside their girlfriends, and we will go ahead and throw that golden anniversary party to seal the deal with uh, Spencer's golden anniversary want and yeah let me know in the comments below if you're team seth or team midnight we gave midnight this cute little emo like kind of makeover i think he's a bit of a looker now and then of course seth oh my god asleep in his parents bed once more with his little bouffant like fucking god stupid hair at least his acne cream started working his acne's gone but yeah let me know in the comments below who you think should be the heir to the generation three astro legacy throne um and i will see you guys next week Bye bye <laughs>